get mad at me that I, I want to try to help you do your job. You know? oh, you're good. Help me do mine. So. You're good. You did. You answered my question. All you have time to do. And then all of a sudden we get back, we just expect you to go straight back to work. We'll be here at 9 o'clock. Well, like, yeah. I didn't go to bed till 6. Damn. You f my schedule up. I'm not allowed. Oh, it's his fault? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, you get on a routine of fucking staying up till 6, you stay up till 6. You have to come to your. I mean, I see your argument. Anyway. Yeah, see, he's like, oh man. Is it preci pre uh, precision, precision anodizing? anodizing? Shout out Kenny for that. Uh, Looks good. Looks good. But yeah, so I had to come to work today, or you, yesterday. You didn't have to. You don't really got to. Because said, oh man, I need you to go by and pick uh, that no, up. No, sir, I asked you if you were coming to work. Kenny. I was five minutes away from the shop. He's like, no, sir. I'm calling you back just to make sure. TMS sent you a little mystery pack, huh? Yeah. You never know what it is. Before we've gotten a bottle of cocktail sauce. We got the ice chest. We got ice chest that was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome until what happened to him, honey. The mayor may not have thrown out a bag of the Because none of us got a bag of ice and put actually put our drinks inside of it. None of us also put an empty ice chest in the bag of the truck. Right. I didn't think it was gonna, uh, you mean a magnet one? The one that has a magnet about this big on the bottom of it? <laughs> how how magnety was it? To an aluminum bed? Yeah. Not very. It didn't work on an aluminum bed? No. It's crazy. It's weird. It's a, this is... Oh, uh, you know what I think? Oh, these are stickers, bro. Like, that's it? Yeah. That's what we got. I know, he's got a... They're doing like an anniversary thing. Oh, this is the 50... Is it 50? Oh, yeah, 50. Oh, yeah. 50. Annie, we're going to do some posting with those for him. Hypothetically speaking, if we go into the finals, we're gonna be right there on the the rods eject themselves out of the motor yeah. by themselves. Yeah. So basically, we got how many hits? 18? 5, 10, 15, 20. 20, 21. 21. Okay. So basically we have eight, we have 21 hits on the motor. We put rods in these things at every 30 because we run this car really, really hard. We don't do the same intervals with the red car, the exact same motor. We don't run the cars hard, but with this one we do. So I told myself <clears throat> after hurting some motors previously, um, when we ran the fireball real, real hard, you know, 70 plus pounds of boost with twins does put stress on the motor. This thing is no different. It doesn't make 70 pounds of boost, but it makes it more power. Um, we're gonna change these rods at every 30. That's what we changed to when we won the, season three championship MVK, and we didn't have any problems on that interval so we're going to change the rods every 30 hits this is the way this works people go man that's ridiculous you don't need to change them that often even my rod guy says you don't need to change them that often but uh if you don't change them we joke around about this they change themselves and what it means when they change themselves is <clears throat> you want them to stay in the motor well what happens when they get unhappy is they break somewhere and they eject out of the motor well when they do that they can take out your block, your heads, pistons, crank. Um, you can have a rod failure that costs in the neighborhood of a 20,000 20, bucks to fix. Um, and you don't want that. So a set of $2,000 rods is way cheaper than a $20,000 engine failure. <clears throat> so when we ran our program like that uh, during the season three APK, we had no engine failure. So we're gonna do the same thing with this car. Um, 21 is way early. But the reason why we're doing that is because we're going to go testing on the way to the first MPK, and then from the first MPK, uh, well, from testing from the first M to the to the first MPK. So essentially, let's say I make five or six test hits. Let's say I make uh, two grudge passes on Friday night, and then let's say I go to the finals. Hypothetically speaking, maybe we can make it there. Um, you're talking about potentially, possibly 15 hits somewhere in the neighborhood. That puts that motor at 36, 37. I don't want it to be there. So we're going to start over. We're going to give this thing a, a clean bill of health, freshen everything up. We're going to do a, we're going to do the rods 
and we're going to do a fresh set of cylinder heads. Um, the way I run the engine program on, on this car is I have another set of heads that always has a fresh set of springs and a fresh set of valves. Um, and I take the ones off that have runs on them and I send them to Proline and they look them, they look them all over and tell me what it is that needs to be replaced. If they see heat in the valves, they change them. If they see fatigue springs, we change them. A lot of times we just change the springs no matter what uh, because they're another wear item that could cause, uh, that could cause a catastrophic, catastrophic engine failure. Um, when you drop a valve, Okay, so people are gonna go, well, why do you replace the valve so often? Well, here's the deal. If you drop a valve, that is another $20,000 engine failure. So we have figured out the two biggest wear items in a motor that makes 3,000 plus, and it is valves and rods, and we just change them more often. Um, other than that, if everything goes good, this motor will stay in here top to bottom for the whole season, and we will rebuild the engine, quote unquote, uh, in the car every time. So today we're going to show you guys the inside of this motor. Uh, the inside of it looks way better than the outside of it does, actually. But we're going to show you the Pretty inside good. of this motor. Um, we're going to change the rods. We're going to put a fresh set of cylinder heads on and just kind of show you guys our maintenance routine. And so you kind of know that every 30 passes, this is what we go through to do it. Um, we're also going to put on a different supercharger. There's a new design of the F-Series lineup. Uh, a new it's blower. It's basically that blower that I fucked up testing from yes. the video before. Yes, yes. So another thing we're going to be looking for today, now that he said that, is if you guys remember one of the videos, um, where's the where's the blanket at? Let's show them what we did. Let's uh, show them exactly what Probably. we did. Or just get a blanket. I think there's one over there. Is there one? There's one on like the ground. A even a turbo one, and we can show them what we did. So basically, we this thing usually has a blanket on it, okay? And the blanket is for obviously is very close to the fuel cell all right so the blanket is a kevlar blanket that if in fact something happens it keeps all the parts inside the inside the blower per se and not protruding into the fuel tank and causing a fire or something like that so we had stroud make us that blanket and it's kind of a one size fits all type of thing and the straps that tighten the blanket around the blower were about eh, i don't know two foot long too long no big deal, that's very typical. Well, they've got these little loops, and so you slide it back through the loops. A lot of times you'll zip tie it at the end so it doesn't pull back through. Long story short, we forgot to zip tie it. Uh, we were testing that new blower for Pro Charger, and our fault, we tore the blower up uh, because we did not zip tie the straps, and the strap sucked in the front of the blower and chewed up the front of the impeller. Um, the blower even hauled ass like that, but that being said, we had to take it off and change it, and that's why you guys saw us change the supercharger. It like sucked um, the strap up into yeah, the intake and everything. Right. Yeah, so we, to finish that test session, we had to put the old blower back on, and it worked flawlessly the whole time. Yeah, so this is what a blower blanket looks like, and it goes around the supercharger, and this is actually the new one, the new replacement. The other one had big bright yellow, yellow straps. They took it from us probably because they wanted to hang on the wall and tell everybody that we're stupid. But that being said, this is what we sucked into the blower, their Kevlar straps. The blowers do not eat these well, I can tell you that. So um, Pro Charger guys hooked us up, fixed all of our stuff that we broke. Uh, we're gonna put a new one of these back on it, but we also are gonna put another new prototype. And I don't even think it's a prototype anymore. I think they're out, but another new blower on it. It's a F4-140X. Um, so, we're changing the rods, we're changing the heads, and we're changing the blower. And then we're gonna load in the box, and we're headed to the first No Prep Paint series, which is in Hebron, Ohio, at National Trail. So if you're watching this and you're close, go go check us out. You'll, you'll see this there, making passes. Uh, Sean's new car. Um, and anyway, they're gonna, all the street outlaw guys will be there, and then all the guys that you've seen on No Prep Kings before. But today we're just gonna give you, give you a, a lot of people wanted this, so we're gonna give you an inside look of what it takes to keep the motor running um, and just, I don't know, kinda wanna show off the inside of the motor. Like I said, in my opinion, it's probably better looking than the outside is, so. Been knock on wood, where we see any close by, but uh, truck cardboard, see if that works. Um, is, has been flawless. Like, rocker adjustment's been awesome between rounds. Um, man, these things are just like dump truck motors. Is what it feels like to me. They just, they just keep, you just keep kicking their ass, and they just keep giving back to you. So I hope that um, 
I hope that this continues the same way, but uh, we're going to let you look at the inside of it and see what you think. So, yeah, and I mean, with no prep kings. Hey, yeah, it's finally no prep time kings. to. Finally time to see that. It's finally time to see this thing. Everybody's been waiting for it. This car's never... Look, everybody knows the Fireball's won a bunch of races. And, look, we've done really well. We've won a bunch of money with it. Never won anything with this car. Uh, and so, you know, that's kind of the thing. You get a new car out, you want it to perform good. If it hasn't done anything, it's not anything. Uh, it's really fast, but it hadn't won nothing yet. So we're going to go out and try to get our first win at the MPK. Um, and if we don't pull it off, we're going to give everybody hell at least. I know that. So I'm anxious to see all the new combos and everything that's going on, and, and um, I don't know, I'm excited for it, it'll be cool. I was waiting, you know, we, we didn't get to do this last year. We tried and tried and tried, and COVID had other ideas, and Discovery and Pilgrim couldn't put it together, and so I'm just thankful that it's happening. I'm glad that we're gonna go race. Uh, there's a few, a handful, a few cars, new cars being built. So I'm, I, hell, I'm even anxious to go see those. I know Little Country's got a, Got a cool little ride that he's putting together that's got a really close power plant to this, but I think it's a Lexus. Uh, it'll be pretty cool. And um, Sean's new car, he's got that thing lined out. It hauls ass. So, you know, and you know the nitrous, the regular nitrous peeps, Kai and Lizzie and the Burr brothers. Uh, those yeah, guys. New power those do what? The Burr brothers got a new power plant. Burr brothers got a new power plant. Power plant, Hobby says. News to me, it's I didn't know that. It's Kai's old motor. Oh, it's Kai's old motor. They probably ain't telling everybody that. You're blabbing all their info. No, they told everybody. Okay. It's because they put uh, zoomies on their car. Well, they told Hob. They told. They told Hob. They told everybody. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah. And also, if you tell Hob, you tell everybody. Just so you guys know. I guess. Um. <laughs> other than that, we'll try to guide you along the way, but not bore you because this might take us, I don't know, four or five hours to do, six hours to do possibly. But obviously, we can't have a six-hour video, so we're gonna try to hit the highlights for you guys. Um, and we'll do a time lapse too. So let me know what you think about it. Subscribe, 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 please. See you soon. Colton, you need to get him his lingo down. You get it's like and subscribe. This is how Tim, I thought I'd see Tim do it, and then this is how Dave asked me how to do it, and I said, well, that's where Tim does it. Yeah, I don't know that. Dave took his intake off. That's weird, because he told me he didn't. Oh, I know he did. So I picked up the intake, so he didn't know that he Weird. He asked me. Huh. Hey, man. Don't play a poker You were a part of that. Oh, baby, old Matt and Billy went. Hot and Jose. Billy, yeah, he's in play. about my driving when uh, I can drive okay. him. complained about mine the whole fucking time. I, I was complaining you tried to kill him with three different cars. <laughs> that was funny, dude. It wasn't even five minutes in and Ryan hey. grabbing the wheel. <laughs> it was not three different cars. Fucking, it was one car. Is this thing not really shit anymore? Eh, kind of. Yeah, it's just old. It's just old. <laughs> I mean, I almost ran over one car. Yeah. I only fell asleep once. Right. That's great. Um, great. I don't know what the third one was. Uh, well, there's three all at the same intersection. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that. That's when you were flipping out because their car was 400 miles away. Yeah, 400. See, you're killing me. Yeah. I mean, one we're gonna, on the driver's side, we're good. Speaking of tally marks, we're going to start believing every F bomb that Ricky drops, well, and we're going to tally mark the whole thing. If, well, I, I tried to tell Ricky, I was like, hey, man, this thing, they're going to end up just basically. Like we're going to have to just blur you whenever yeah. you show up if you don't know, watch him around. Yeah. Ricky's half sailor. Cool. He is. Look. He's even got the captain's stays going. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Got a little captain in you. I could use the captain right now. I bet you could, but why don't you wait till you get off my truck? Can you, uh, <laughs> give me a second.
you're getting big. Maybe my, maybe my crack bully wouldn't fall off. I'm just gonna be looking like Ryan here for too much longer. Yeah. Just get really strong um, hands. Your crack bolt did fall off, it broke. Dude, this impact. Snap on. That thing's Make better through. impacts. That one's big. It might. It's gonna run like shit, we're gonna have to take it all the way apart. Yeah, but just the heads. I think I have to take the front cover and all that shit back off. Yeah, that's true. Unless, unless it broke the piston and shit. And then the paint got to come back off and we just fucking put a piston in it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Good thing about Did they ever start on your belt motor? Like your fully built motor? Huh? Aren't you getting the full? Oh, uh, they got the block and the dart and the sleeves. Are you? St who's doing that one? Thompson. I mean, I say I think because I told them to do it. I've got a crate over there already. Uh, the only reason why I is just yeah, why are you move a magnet tray, Avi? Because I need to get the blower off of here. Do you the magnet is right there. Mike, you know how it is. To well, move the blower the magnet tray back, man. You know how it is to get Come the on, off I'm over here fucking just working my, my own business. You're messing with my shit. You was in my way to get your blower off, sir. Leave your shit out the way. Boss Avi. That's the boss. He's, he's, he just wants me to get to the zone. So but I want you to go on the other side. <laughs> Mr. Lee. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Are you are you okay today? I heard. I'm not okay. You've asked me about five times today. Should I start you asking you if you're okay? I mean that's fine. You know what I'm gonna tell you? Yeah. Nah, man, I broke my neck. <laughs> well, hey, man, I took a rock to the eye. <laughs> Shaded? Um, what? You mentioned something about that, like that shop of shaded <coughs> my trees. You said it wasn't AC, so I don't really feel like waiting on those trees to grow. I don't remember what shop you're talking about that's shaded. Black dog. That shop was shaded. Oh, that guy. You guys are going back to that thing. Well, let me just tell yeah. you about that black dog place. That looked like a ten million dollar uh, speed shop. We do not have one of those here. No, but we could have AC. We could have AC. We could have AC. And Hob, do you remember what he said? The camera guy is bitching at me about AC. Oh. I've been doing this. Uh, you're bitching, and you're not. I'm a not year bitching. In. I'm not a year in, and I've been doing this for three years. And he said something about if we did something, we what could have AC. Oh, it was a. Uh, if we got our own tool. Yeah, if we got our own tool. Oh, that's right. Hey, and I will make good on that. I promise you, you guys get your own tools. I got my own tools. You are what? Uh, no, you don't, sir. <laughs> I do have my so own. So, whose tools are you using today? I'm using yours. So, no <laughs> kidding. That's weird. So, you got your own tools. What are they? Let me I go ahead and tell you what they are. It's a bunch of metric crap. He's got a bunch of metric crap, which none of the metric crap works on this thing. Eventually, we find a metric bolt. Yeah, if you can find one, are you going to justify having an entire <laughs> toolbox full of metric tools? This is, In Hobbs' defense, he used to be a body shop guy. Uh, I used to work on all Ryan's sh wrecked up shit. That was all. Not just mine. He uh, worked on everybody's of, stuff. You're right, and all of it is metric. Yeah. So, like Hondas and Mercedes and all that type of stuff. Fords, Dodges, all of them. They, they got yeah, metric. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> Race cars, not metric. But when Hobby has been, now Hobby's been a, a, a race car mechanic for. I'm going to tell you seven or eight years. He's going to tell you three or something ridiculous. But uh, he's been here for every bit of a long time. Plenty long enough to have some American tools. Standard tools. We're just trying to get on the Billy and Matt payment plan. Well, Ryan buys their tools. Matt has a toolbox that will put yours to shame, as does Billy. All right, so day two, we had to uh, wait for a little tool to help with the piston installs. Yeah, here, I'll show you what it is. <clears throat> Somebody's Summit and ARP. Rick, where'd you set it? Oh, here it is. So, because we've always previously done 481 stuff, we have these handy dandy little sleeves that are a tapered, it's basically a tapered bore, and you set the, you, you let the piston skirt center up in, uh, into the hole, and then you just lightly tap the piston down in the hole, and that's tapered, and it makes it to where the rings just kind of pop in where they go, and you don't have to use one of those old, Back in the day, they used to have spring clamp, ring clamps that 
you went around the piston and had to hold your mouth right, do all kinds Get of things. These are Raleigh's awesome. Room. Yeah. So these are cool. ARP makes these, and I think alligator even. Turtle. Yeah, it was alligator snapping turtle. Um, and uh, anyway, so these are like life. These are these are like life changing for rebuilding motors like this. It makes it makes piston installs um, way easier. But we didn't have one. We had one for a 481. We did not have one for um, the 4.470 bore Hemi, and now we do. We had to overnight it. So we stopped yesterday. We tore it down, stopped, got this this morning. And now we're gonna jam this dude back together and have this thing running tonight. Yep, so we got the heads off. Yep. Got the heads off, um, and we're doing one rod, and uh, we're changing one rod at a time. That's just kind of how we do it. Uh, we're gonna start. We started on this side. We did this front one so far, and we're gonna go through, go down the line, do this side, go through the down the line over there, do that side, and start with the assembly process. So here in a minute, we'll show you guys how we actually put the rod on the piston change that and then uh, yeah we'll start putting it back together got our Y scale piston our GRP rod our trend uh, oh, we call, I forgot what that's called. I'll get it out here in a second. But we've got our total seal rings. We're going to take the oil rings off. Now, I know some people are do it a little different. But, you know, I was telling Colton because he used to help a guy do ATV motors. And I said, I bet you ATV motors don't have buttons. He's like, I don't know. And then he's like, no, nah, I don't think so. I said, well, these do. Instead of just stabbing yourself. I'm over here still fighting this oil ring. Who makes those buttons? Uh, trend, or trend, I believe. And the wrist pin. It was a wrist pin. I'm about to take the trend wrist pin. Here in a, second. a little bit of rotation. Tornado on the ground. Tornado. If you are not on the ground, you will die. <laughs> <laughs> it's all large and dirty. Nah, Rick, that's messed up, man. That's like almost to my house. Uh, I'll never forget that. <laughs> Flipping out, man. We got, we got the, the LAT 50 way, the jelly. Uh, Rick says the LAT transmission fluid does not taste good. No, it does not. No, I yeah, did take a shot of that the other day. Supercell. What the hell? Could you imagine if it hailed it here again? <laughs> Not like it's gonna hurt anything. <laughs> we, got the tool, we got the Tulsa rings off. This trim button off right here. This makes it gravy. And the wrist pin. Boom. I'll try to, I'll try to just leave the wrist pin in there. It's a very nice to use GRP rods. I think we sell those at the races or online. We have no use for them after this. So out with the old. In with the new. In with the new. GRP Ocho, ESP and Ocho. I don't know. This is, this is what I do. I don't, I don't know if everybody else does this, but this is what I do. Jail, you're up. Yeah. Supercell. Yeah, so you run. That's going right towards right. That's the same path. the same path, path that I always. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oklahoma for you. Yeah, maybe it just ripped didn't really do much the last time. I bet it goes now because it felt like it's in the kind of like in a groove. Okay, you ready? Whatever you're ready, sir. Got it? Yep. Oh, yeah. It slides in like so. Like butter. Whoa, easy. Good, you like it? And that's how it's supposed to work. Sometimes, if you don't hold everything just right and it's not centered real good, it'll hang up just a little bit. But um, and I've seen guys do it. Like as long as you don't get crazy, if you feel it hang up and you don't bang it in there anyway, that's <laughs> yeah. when you tear up the rings and stuff. So if you, feel it, if you feel it get a little tight, you just stop. 
and you go, okay, reset everything, and you just center everything up back up, and it just kind of, you can feel it click into place, and it'll slide right in. Or, and it was like a sleeve, and so many times you, could, you didn't have the piston right, so you'd, you'd, try, you'd try to slide it down, and the, the ring would pop out one side before it made it into the hole, okay. and then you tear the ring up if, you're, if you forced it in there. So this keeps you from doing that. As long, I mean, I think you could still screw it up, like if you really were trying and you know, score the sleeve and, and all score that the, yeah you could tear the sleeve up you can tear so it's very this is like the most crucial part of doing this you know being careful and like i said i know there's engine guys out there that are going to say we're doing it wrong or whatever the case is but this, this is how we've done it this is how we always do it it works good um and for servicing you know for servicing the the motor in the car this is the best way to do it and a lot of people will also say well why don't you take you know, eight more bolts in the bell housing, four more bolts in the mid plate, and all the converter bolts out, and um, just pull the engine out, put it on the engine stand. Of course, you can totally do that, but as many as much as we do this, right now we can leave everything in the car, all the fuel system's still intact, the intake's not going to move, um, and we can service all this just like it is, and it ain't no different. It's damn near engine stand height anyway, so. Yep. And we're not taking a chance of fucking up any wires. Yeah, and we don't have to unplug and plug our wires. And people don't think about it, but if you if you pull the motor every time you did it, then that's let's say five more times per year that you unplug and plug all the electrical. And a lot of people don't think about that, but that's how electrical plugs get torn up. That's how prongs get bent and things like that. And so then you chase your shit, you chase your ass. Yeah, then you you put rods in it and you put the whole car back together, and then you go, man, I don't know why it's cutting out on cylinder number three or. The, the uh, FT spark's not working, but and it's because you forgot a ground or because you bent a prong that you've got to chase back or whatever. Everybody watch yourself. Right. This way, we know what's going on. That's just, I mean, a lot of extra work and, it's, and wear and tear on stuff that doesn't yeah. need. Exactly right. Ah, uh, there's one left still. Damn it. That was premature. Sorry. This is second to the last one. Second to the last one. Second to the last one. We're almost done with the short block. We got one more after this to do. Supers at Wiles. At oh, yeah. then, we got to torque all of the rod bolts because I bet. Rod, I bet. Yes, I do them all at once. I do them all at once. We got tornadoes in the. Yeah, I was about to say. Now. Only in Oklahoma yeah. do you yeah. rebuild a Hemi while there's a tornado warning. Yeah. <laughs> so. The good thing about building race cars in Oklahoma is you can be right building race cars like this and literally not know if they're going to be here tomorrow. Because if a tornado comes through this area, There's it no will not be anywhere this in this thing. area. There will be no reason to finish this Hemi out <laughs> because this deal will be maybe in Kansas somewhere. There's no it, it, it would have flown with a rebuilt motor. In it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I was thinking about it this morning. I was like, man, we need to get the motor back together because if a tornado comes through here and smashes the car up, I'd like at least the motor to be in one piece. I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> could you, well, could you, you imagine if a tornado out. comes through here it's, and the motor's scattered in pieces? It'd just be literal junk. You could do nothing yes. with it. At least you could maybe find the motor, but you, you ain't finding all this. You ain't finding all this. No, this would be like 52 car pickups. It comes way worse. on the heads no the, we found well we stuff. found we actually have in the box two studs i know we had those no i was looking at those box which one are you going that way or this way so yeah we'll do that so you took this on. one out right yeah here you're gonna do this head i can do this which head? one did you take out this one I took that one put it back in okay.
because you got ghosted. Pretty good hammer you got Thank there. you. Thank you. That helps me. Alright, so heads are what, all but on? Yeah, new heads on. Getting ready to start twerking. About to be, uh, about to bring the big guns in here in a second. Oh, yeah, I forget about that. It's about big gun time here in a second. Ah! We didn't do it. See how it's. Damn. That's a workout right there, Aaron, where it's kind of like a golf swing. It's not like a golf swing. No? <laughs> I've never seen a uh, waterproof dyno, so I guess we'll find out what uh, what we're working with on that whenever the time comes. But yeah, man, everything's soaked. It's not good. Not good at all. Yeah. Looks like we'll be cleaning up water all weekend. Yep. Get our well. Mm -hmm. Good job, Rick Ross. It's not the beautiful, beautiful thing. Good job. 
Yeah. I just wanna. Just gotta slam it. Yeah. Not like you want to. Nuts. Nuts. I just have enough. No, I don't want to take Michael Bain as a nuts. Because he's getting the tool to put it on. It should already be out. It's got, they had oil, like, I didn't, it's not like we cleaned the tubes at all. What you got? I think we have a new gear drop. Let's see. We have some oils. We got some packing material. Man, all that for just that little hose? Yeah, we got some instructions. Instructions all? Yeah, we got some instructions. The vent assembly. More packing materials? Whoa. Thanks, sir. That's what we got. Bolts. Lots of bolts. Oh, this is heavy. This is something good. Something important. It's a plate. Ooh. It's a plate. Oh, so I don't think we're going to use this, are we? This is all the hard working for hobby and we all do you work for hobby i work for hobby we all work for hobby well maybe it's quote what ron mark said we're all bosses yeah what quote is your own work you, no that is exactly what i said although that did not mean i was proud of that deal yeah i wasn't <laughs> impressed with that just so you know lots of chiefs in this shop What this? These are. These are more plates? Drive plates. Or no more standoffs. That's like a little everything. Yeah, we're not using that. Money shot. She pretty ain't she? She pretty pretty. She pretty pretty. It's always nice whenever it's fresh and Javi hasn't touched it yet. I know. It's only gonna look nice for a very short period of time. So what's up? We got uh, basically just a pro charger and everything left. Yeah. So we got the we got the motor all back together. Um, we just got a couple of small things. So you guys heard us talk about we're going to try out a new blower. So um, we're going to put this guy on, but it requires a different gear set. So we got on the spare gear set and we put um, a 166 ratio uh, gear set for this new blower so we're gonna put we got to bolt this up um, we've got to bolt this up we've got to do some grounds and cylinder heads that we didn't do um, that's about it hook up a couple of fuel lines uh, hook the fuel pump back up to the fuel drop fuel pump drive and then fire in the hole so there's not much left um, we're Let's see, from when we leave, what are we? One, two, three, four, we're about five days out from when we leave for Ohio uh, for the first MPK race. So we're trying to give this thing the best shot um, at having at having a good race. Uh, so, I don't know, what else, Hoff? Oh, marking the blower, make sure that it doesn't touch down. Oh man, like you said, just trying to go in as fresh as possible. Like. Yeah. New rods, new blower. It was yeah, kind of borderline, right? Well, we don't know if the car's gonna make it home between the first MPK and the second MPK. Okay. Like, what we try to do is leave the rig somewhere at a friend's place or something that, so we don't have to drive the rig back and forth. Like, you know, because we're gonna be in Ohio and driving back from Ohio to Oklahoma, then to Florida, Jupiter, Florida, put a lot of miles on everything, it's not really necessary. So we'll try to find somewhere in the middle to leave it. We might run home take care of some stuff here at the shop for a few days and then go back out. So when we do that, we try to leave with everything as, uh, go ahead, try it, see if you can get it. <laughs> I, was, I had a good square going, I was like, oh, I thought uh, you would. We're gonna try to uh, give everything the best shot uh, of living and staying together and, and like like Javi said, be as fresh as possible, so. Well, yeah. Shut up, you're 31. 31. Still looking. Ain't found the one. Old ass, man.
Like, what are you, like 22, 23? Really? Colton's old. I take that as a compliment. What, 26? I'm about to be 26. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the drive is installed. That's kind of what it looks like. If I keep doing what you're doing, I'm going to put... I just got to put a little in the drive. I don't have to fight it later. Did I remind you? Yeah, I was gonna do it, but it's, it's easier to do it now. Like you said, like you just reminded. So we'll put some. Uh, Javi's gonna put some oil in here, and then we'll uh, not push our drip. Yeah. Right, you grab a hold of the side of my hand now. Okay. Okay. Oh. Alright. Then you're gonna move. In like clean. In like clean. So yeah, while you would do that, uh, I think I'm gonna go soak up some more water. Happy birthday again, Rick. Working on my birthday like usual. Exactly what you wanted to do today. I just, like I came in, I was really hoping I could vacuum the floor and suck all the water out. There is worse things we could be doing. Maybe. Back together.
the overflow. And then pulled the dipstick I pulled out. The, I pulled the funnel out of it, and then I went to jam the dipstick in it. I look, and it was just the Yeah, it was, I knew I had a feeling. He started back. Go ahead and start back. Put it, see if it'll go back apart. Let's see if it'll go back apart. Uh, he, was getting the, he was the right thing to tell you. Oh, went back to work. Yeah, so you could fire back up. It's like you got to give it a little. <laughs> I, did, I did it right! <laughs> you did Make something sure right. Make sure I'm ultra tight. Sarah, you ready? Come on, start singing. What do we have? Oh, man. I forget it's freaking his birthday. Yeah, what are we, uh, what is it? What year is it? 2021 MPK, season four? Season four. Ready for you. All right, ready? Birthday, dear Dickie. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Birthday? Look, I know you don't have the lung capacity, but can you blow these candles out before the <laughs> He uses those for cigarettes, yeah. not candles. Make a wish. Dude, oh, you're going to burn it. yourself. Here. Pick up a candle and start lighting the others. Pull it out of it? Yes, yeah, genius. Yeah. Yeah. Wild ass colors on his cupcakes. Well, I think it's Memorial Day. Well, Ricky's kind of wild. This, this, is all you get. <laughs> this is all you get because it's too windy. <laughs> yeah, sorry, hey, it blowed it out. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Any of the top of those cupcakes red? Ricky likes red heads, I figured. Red. <laughs> Top of the cup. Casey. <laughs> Here's a strawberry shortcake one. Happy birthday, Ruth. Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday. How old are you? Rick, 29. 29. Why are 